do we choose the best keyword when there's several options available? I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step process with a real example. In Erank Group on Facebook, and if you're not already a member, you really want to get over there and join, let them know I sent you. But we were asked this really awesome question. I don't know what to do. These are quite similar keywords. Which one do I choose? And they linked to an image from Erank's Keyword Explorer showing the average searches, clicks, click-through rate, and Etsy competition, but not the keywords. The competition, that is, the number of listings that show up in an Etsy search for that keyword, for that searched term, are all quite similar. So how do we decide which one's the best out of the information we've been given here? So when we look at how searched they are, the rankings are one, three, and two. Number one is the most searched for. So is that the most important order? But if we look at click-through rate, it's two, one, three. So number two is suddenly the highest click-through rate. And the click-through rate is the percent of people who go on and click on an item they see in the search when they've searched for something. So it suggests a high buyer intent. When they search, they see items they look like the look of, rather than if they search, they don't really see the things they want, so they go for another search or they leave each seal together. So search term number two has 66% click-through rate. That's pretty high. And search term three, has 11%. That's fairly terrible. And then looking at the average number of clicks, that's simply the number of people clicking on those listings. The order is one, two, three. So just looking at the details we have, each one of these listings has about the same chance of getting seen in search. They're all up against about the same number of competition. But number one gets the most number of views in total for the month. And number two has the highest click-through rate, so that's possibly the biggest indicator that people want to buy. So we need to look deeper here. Let's see what these actual keywords are. We have pins for backpacks, backpack pin, and backpack pins. When we look at backpack pin over time, it seems from the graph there's been one big spike in one month, and then it falls away to pretty much no search volume. This could mean that there was one month where backpack pin as a term was featured somewhere, so that's skewed the data in favour, making that term look more searched than it is. But pins for backpacks has search volume steady pretty much all through the year. Year. This looks like it might be a good one. Also, plurals are seen by the matching algorithm as the same thing, so they'll show up in the same searches. It's just if you match exactly what the buyer's typing in, if the buyer types in the plural, if your item is in the plural, then it'll rank slightly higher than the singular, but the singular will still show up in search. So in this case, if you use the term pins for backpacks, and it did well in that search, which is a year-round fairly high volume, there's a really good chance that you would show up for the other searches anyway. So looking at all the data that's available to us, we've got more chance of people searching and a large number of people clicking through if we use the pins for backpacks and it could help us rank for the other terms as well. So that looks like that one's the good one. Hope that helped. See you next time.